So with all RO units, I like to plumb the drain side in first. Um, this way, if we plumb up the, the input side and accidentally turn the water on, we don't make a mess. So I like to work backwards through the system. The drain clamp is the first thing. Now, the, the drain line doesn't have to go to an existing pipe. It could go into a sink, a basin. It could be run outdoors and, and feed the plants in the yard. It could go to a gray water tank. There's a lot of different uses of the drain water. So to install the drain clamp, simply drill a quarter inch hole in an existing pipe under the sink. I like to use the horizontal pipes uh, bef uh, before the trap if you're going to hook it up under a sink. This way you don't get the smell from the, the pipe, drain pipe and the bacteria coming into the filter. Uh, and of course drill it on the top side of a pipe or near the top side so that it doesn't, you don't want to drill it underneath, but you can. Um, and just drill a quarter inch hole, that's simple. Then take the drain clamp mounting gasket, peel the sticker off, pull the center out, and place it right over the hole, just like that. What I like to do is take the drain saddle and push a piece of the drain tubing all the way, about a half inch through it, and then you line it up with the hole in the pipe so you get your alignment set. Uh, and then you can look through the bottom of the pipe or the, and see uh, that it's not pushed through all the way. Now, if it's connected under a sink, you're not going to be able to look through it. So what you can do is push it all the way and feel the bottom of the pipe, the back side, and just pull it back about a half an inch, just like that. You don't want the tube against the pipe where it's going to restrict the drain flow. You want it wide open, it's kind of a key important part. And then just assemble the drain saddle, put the nuts on and tighten them up, and don't over tighten them. Uh, there's a gasket there to seal from any leaks, uh, and that's how the drain saddle connects. Real simple. So the next thing I like to do is take the quarter inch white and the quarter inch black tubing and plumb it in to the flush assembly. Now on all Grow Onyx ROs, the black line is the drain line, and so go to this two-way divider here and seat the black tubing all the way in. The permeate line, the RO outline, the filtered water, is going to plug into the bottom of the auto shutoff valve right there. Make sure it's seated all the way past the o-ring into its seat. And make sure the flush valve is open. Closed is when it is perpendicular to the line, the black line. Open is when it's parallel to the black line. So on initial startup, we want the flush valve open, parallel to the black line. And we're going to run the drain water uh, into the sink here and the RO water, we're just gonna leave to run on the table so we can watch it flow. The next step is to install the input plumbing, the feed water to this RO. Now, we give you a hose clamp, a garden hose clamp in the kit. And this allows you to use a garden hose to feed this RO. And to do that, you simply thread the adapter on a garden hose and then hook up the 3 8 tubing to it like that. We're not going to use a garden hose here. This is if you need to make water in a pinch. I'm not a big fan of garden hoses for water hookup. We are going to install this feed water to a ball valve, a three quarter inch stainless ball valve. Uh, garden hoses are not compression thread fittings like NPT fittings. They have a sealing washer in them. You're probably very aware of it if you've used garden hose products before. And they're just not the best thing uh, for any kind of long-term sealing. It's just not a really great solution. But we give them to you if you, if you need to hook them up in a pinch. So uh, we're going to hook it up to a stainless ball valve and simply take the other end of the feed line and push it into this reducing T on the input right here. Make sure it's seated past the O-rings into its proper seat. Um, and that's it, the RO is connected. It's that simple. 